I would see them come, uh, come back in the evening. And that is when I would see that uh, it's already four o'clock. Otherwise, I used to know all the movies in the house, anything that was on the TV, uh, because I would spend all my time there. But I gave myself comfort that uh, So while I, after those three months, I started thinking deeply because I said, I have to move on with life. I have to look out for something that I can do that can be able to give me some income. You see, before I got married, I was already working. So I have really never known what it means to say, give me for this, give me for that. I always had an income. So, but now this time uh, I find that uh, other than then maybe the, the money that I was paying as I was leaving the bank, uh, I, I didn't have any other source of income. So unless of course I'm given. And so I, I really decided very seriously that I really needed to do something that can give me an income. And so I, I thought within myself what I could do. I didn't want to go back to the bank again. I didn't want to look for the job in that sector. I think I'd already done enough of banking. And so I, I started thinking deeply. And I came up with my, my childhood hobby. And you see, um, my childhood hobby, I loved the fashion and design from many, many, many years ago. Uh, while I was still very young in the, uh, while I was still very young in school, I, I loved the fashion and design. And so uh, while I was, I was at it, I decided, let me look for a college. And I got a college and I started learning. And uh, because uh, I was learning there, I was staying there for one year and in my second year, I then came to teach in that college. And so over lunch hour, I, I was there and uh, she came to talk to me. And so I started telling her that I'm just retired, you blah, blah, blah. And then she told me, can I, can I, can I sell to you some products that you can use? for health. But of course, uh, I just told her uh, that uh, I did, uh, when I was doing my 64, I did biology. And that is the last time I met with the biology. And so I do not understand what she is talking about. And uh, the 22 amino acids she was talking about. And of course, you see, those are the, some of the things that you didn't brush about. In any case, at that time, maybe you are feeling well. But uh, of course, uh, it, it's just that you don't have information. So uh, she, when she saw that I wasn't interested, I really thank her because she was a keen listener. She just told me then, let me show you a business. And this business can give you a lot of money. As some banker, of course, and, 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 and serve the customers. And I for sure, I knew those people, those people that were, those people that were, were, were making a lot of money, of course, they were business people, they were not employees. And so what I decided is, uh, is that, uh, let me try the business. So the following day I was in business. I even didn't understand I was supposed to make the money. But let me assure you, uh, I, I, the following day I was in business and the lady told me, don't worry, I'm going to show you, I'm going to support you. And I said, yes. And so the following day they came to a house and they explained to us how the business is done. And of course we got a lot of, a lot of we, 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 we got a very, really interested in the business. And so we were told we need to come for the training like what you're doing now so that you can be able to understand how to move on with the business. And let me tell you, I, I was very keen on the business as I was moving on with my course, wherever I was going to college. And let me tell you, within no time, I, I saw some little money start streaming in. And uh, in five months, I was given a title, I was called a director. And in, uh, in, about, uh, in, about, uh, uh, in about eight months, to one year, I was earning like 80,000 to 100,000. And this, that is when I said, this is exactly what I really wanted. Because I really wanted a business and I've just gotten one. And so as I was going to college in the evenings, I started doing the business. And those are the benefits, some of the benefits that started streaming to me. While I was there, I told that lady that I actually had a health challenge. And what she told me is that, I can use some products because the company had some products. And she told me, if you use these products for about six months, I can assure you, your health is going to get better. And that is exactly what happened. Uh, my health got better. And actually, I even forgot that I had a challenge. So I can assure you, I'm going to talk to you that one later on. I enjoyed the products. I got my good health and I moved on with life. And I got so, so excited. 
Of course, after that, now I, I, I got deeper into the business. I understood the logistics of the business. And within no time, I saw my check go to over 100,000. And then I started achieving other dreams that I'd never known about. And of course, those things that I really wanted, especially the dream that I had carried for so many years was to buy myself a car. And that is the very first thing that I bought in my very first one year in this business. And from that day, henceforth, I said, wow, it is possible that if you can be able to buy a car cash, then you can be able to do so many things. And of course, I was looking for finances and now I have gotten. So areas of finances and the things that you really want to buy, I, I started achieving them day by day. And then after that, of course, after that, of course, uh, I started now looking at other things that the company was offering. Uh, the time that I was joining the business, I found my sponsors were traveling to South Africa and I, and I thought it is for them. No sooner did I know that when they came back, they told me that you can also travel. Let me assure you, the following year, I was, uh, I was on my way to Johannesburg for an international uh, seminar and let me tell you, I was so happy. That was my very first international flight. And from that time, I've traveled so many times, but I'm going to show you that one later on. And so if you are, if you really want to travel, this business can give you a lot of travel. And of course, after that, I've gained so many things. I'm, I'm sure I'm going to share with you uh, as, I, as I move along uh, with my presentation. So um, let me share my screen so that you can be able to move on. So the company that I got linked up with, uh, that is in year 2001, uh, of course, uh, uh, it was about, it's, it has a mission to make the world, the world a healthy and a happier place for each and every one of us to be able to live in it. And so uh, one thing that I can assure you that uh, right now I'm celebrating 20 years in this business and I'm sure it is Nikitu ya kunjifunia sana. Nikitu ya kunjifunia sana. Sababu, you see, if, if you're doing something and you've seen one year go, five years go and 10 years go, uh, I can assure you one thing that there is is that, um, that uh, if you see that you've done a business for five years, it is still moving on. You have done it for 10 years. It is still moving on. You've done it for, uh, you know, 20 years. They're still moving on. Let me tell you, it is something that it is worth celebrating because there are so many other businesses that never, never live to see uh, maybe the five years. Uh, so now here is the founder, is called Gary. Uh, of course, he started this company in 1958. And actually, the reason why this company was started is because of health, year the health challenges. And through those health challenges, made him find this company. And so I'm sure some of us, we have founded our companies because of one, two, three things. For him, he had a dream of making the, the world a healthier and a happier place for each and everyone to live, or to live in. And of course, he is with a daughter, uh, Kendra, who is the CEO of the company. And let me tell you, um, I've seen uh, for the 20 years that I've been in this business, I've seen so much, uh, so much uh, come around. And of course, the company has values. One of them is about absolute honesty and integrity. I've never seen anybody doing business where there's no honesty and that company survives. So this is one of the value that anybody who wants to do business must have. Number two, that you have to make sure that the people are number one in everything that you endeavor to do. People are number one, I can assure you. And the other thing is, is that we have products that work. The products that I used to when I came to this company, they have never let me down, yeah? Uh, they have never let me down. And so even when I'm, I'm sharing them with my friends and of course the, 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 my customers, I'm very confident that these products are good. The other thing is that uh, this company gives each and every one of us an equal opportunity to be able to do business. I know some of us are not business oriented, but this company gives you a platform to be able to do a business. They give us an equal opportunity. It doesn't matter where you come from, whether you come from Europe, whether you come from Africa, everybody qualifies to do this business. The other thing is that you, it, you just got a long range vision. And a long range vision, what I can tell you is that they are not doing this business for today. It is for the generations to come. I've already spent my 20 years. When I came here, I had, it, it had a long range vision. I didn't know that it was, I'll be here for another 20 years. And now I'm gearing myself up for another 20 years because I know it is going to work. And of course, uh, this company has products like what I've told you. And some of those products that really helped me is the healthcare products. Like, and you can see uh, that uh, this company has products. It is geared towards health. 80% of, actually 85 to 90% of this business 
It's about health, it's about wellness, how to make the world a healthier and a happier place. And what they have done is that they have what we call food supplements. Food supplements are supposed to bridge in the gap that is left there by our feeding habits. We understand we are eating so much junk food, so the supplements are supposed to be to, to come in between of what you are not getting from the food that you're eating. And that's why after I used these products, the challenge that I, the health challenge that I had is now a thing of the past. And today I've got my good health and I'm so, so excited. The next one we have is, a, is, is um, a skincare, organic skincare. I remember when I got my children, my skin broke out and a very bad skin. And uh, for many years, I was really in search of a good skincare product. So when I came to this company, imagine I got some nice skincare product. I've been using them now for the last 20 years and I'm not looking for any other skincare. I'm so, so, so happy about it. And uh, the next one you see is what we call home care products. Home care with a difference. Uh, you see the products that we have, they're, they're all concentrates. You only dilute when you are using. The company knows that everybody has water at home. So what you need is a concentrate. They don't need to sell you water. You know, they don't need to dilute for you and sell to you water. They know you have water at home. You just need to dilute and use uh, the and use the, 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 the products. And let me assure you, one of them is LDC, like, and you can see it there. I've been using it for the last 20 years. I have never looked for any other soap in the kitchen. That is what I use because there are so many uses. It can wash your fruits and vegetables. It can, it, you can also use it in the bathroom. That is what I use in my bathroom. You can wash some small things. You can wash your, you know, small, small things, you are jewelry, you know, it is so versatile. What I'm saying is that there are so many uses. One product can actually be able to do more than 10 things. And that's why I, why I love our home care. Uh, the next product you find is Super 10. Super 10 is our, I always call that, it's my cleaning manager. That is what I use for cleaning my house. It can clean your car engine, your ovens, your bathrooms, name it. Whatever you want, your floors, anything, removing stains on your sofa set, on your clothes. It has more than 10 uses, that is what it's called, the Super 10. You can do more than 10 uh, household work with the Super 10. The next product you see is Care, and Care is a disinfectant cum sanitizer. I always remember last year when COVID came, I remember that Friday, or I think I remember it was a Thursday, and on Friday I was going for a meeting somewhere. So um, I, 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 when I came home, I found that my Care was so literal. And so I decided I'm going to pick my, my piece on Monday. By the time I went to the warehouse on Monday, there were only a few pieces left. I was among the first people who bought for the, the last care. And let me tell you, people came running for the care when COVID came. And let me tell you, it has really helped us. Uh, what I do is that I carry a small bottle within my handbag. I carry some LVC in my handbag to wash my hands and to keep on sanitizing my hands, especially when you know you are touching many services. And you see, as, as much as I'm sanitizing, I'm also having my mask. I have to sanitize as much as possible. And I also have to keep on washing my hands as much as possible. And let me tell you, I've, uh, I've been to that office for... Uh, I've never left that office. I meet, I, I meet so many people every other day, but I, let me tell you, care is very effective. 99% of the bacteria and those, those viruses, it can be able to get rid of. And so in case you've been looking for a nice sanitizer that, can, that is environmentally friendly, uh, the beauty is that with care, you can also use it in food preparation areas. Some hospitals have really embraced it because it is very good. Uh, this is what I've been using for the last 20 years. Uh, for disinfecting many things, especially those people with maybe fungal infections and what have you, care is very good. And that is a product that nobody should ever miss. And of course, uh, in addition to that, we, are, we have a scientific advisory board. They research on our products. And I can assure you, uh, I remember when I was in Mexico, that was in 2018, I met Diane Creton, uh, we were in Mexico. I will show you as I move on with my presentation. And let me tell you, these guys are learning, their CVs are so good. And I really admired it and I said, wow, this is, this is a company and a half. Because uh, you see, when I'm in, in this company, I'm only supposed to know the benefits of the products. Because for sure, I know the scientific advisor board, board they, have been, they are so learning. And uh, you know, because they, they, they are running, do you know what happens? Because they are running, they know their job. They have researched everything. For you, what you just need to know is the benefits of the products. As for what the, it contains and all those scientific other things, that is their work. 
so they are paid to do their job. For me, I just need to pass on this information to myself and to other people that I interact with. So we have a great science, science behind our products. And let me tell you our products, every product that you touch in our company, you always find that it has this role of SMB because they, they have certified that that product has passed through their hands. And that is their logo. You know, it is mark of quality. Um, sorry. Okay, let me talk a, a little bit about COVID-19. I remember one Sunday, we had one of our own, our doctor talking to us about COVID-19. And of course, what she told us is that there's something that I like repeating every time I do a presentation, that you need to have what we call external prevention. External prevention is like using the LDC to wash your hands, use care to sanitize. And of course, there's internal prevention. Internal prevention is when uh, you have to fight it when it is already to you prevent it from the inside and then number three is fighting it when you are infected in case you are infected you have your lbc you have your you are super you you are you are care and then of course you have the food supplements we have the carotenoids the, cherry, the zinc is there vitamin c and vitamin e and always remember it's always especially if you know anybody who has who, is, who has covid always remember to give them vitamin E because it's simple to give your brand the, the, the oxygen saturation within the body, it is major. And of course, remember to add vitamin A and D, remember to add garlic, remember to add aloe vera plus, flavonoids, super respiratory and botanical balance to balance your sugars. Because I know some of our, our friends, they have got that challenge of, uh, of maybe the sugar is not good, the social levels are diabetic. And of course we say they are in the first, uh, first line of being infected by COVID because their immunity is, uh, is compromised. And of course, when you come to our business, of course, when you join our company in your life, uh, you come, but you are not alone. You are in business for yourself, but not by yourself. But remember, it is not everybody that joined our company to do business. There are those people who have joined our company specifically to use the product. They said me, uh, maybe I'm busy at my place of work, or maybe I have a huge business that I'm running, but I would love to use the product, especially to take care of your, your health. Uh, right now, during this COVID season, there are those people who have really joined our company to be able to use our products directly from the company. And so when you join the company, you find that the company gives you, uh, uh, they give you a, a, a website for yourself. That means that uh, you can be able to buy your products directly from the company. And of course, uh, you can be able to, to ask questions from the company. You can be able to have a lot of literature that you can be able to read, get a lot of information within the website. And of course, it will show you all those things. Like you can see, we have got our healthcare, our skincare, which is organic. And of course, we have got our home care. And all these products that the healthcare, they make us live, feel better because it's about health. And of course, our skincare makes sure that we look better. And of course, uh, the, the home care makes sure that we live better in a clean environment. And of course, uh, with the product supply is so continuous. In the case, for those people who are uh, maybe want to, to buy from the online, you just order your products online and direct the company where to deliver your product. You don't have to come to the warehouse if that is your wish. And of course, uh, this website is really so major. I love it. Um, because sometimes I can be able to do shopping while I'm in, at the comfort of my home. I can do shopping and my products can be delivered uh, to my customers at their point of uh, uh, where they want them being delivered. And the other thing is that you find that company has a very strong IT uh, you know, presence. And uh, because we are in over 50 markets of the world, I can tell you we have a huge computer system that is interlinked in all the markets that where the company is. Because uh, right now, I was told when I came to this business that I can be able to do an international business from the comfort of my home. And you know what, today I do business in so many countries from the comfort of my home. Uh, I, have a tea, I have a business in South Africa, I have a business in, uh, in Nigeria, a business in the uh, UK, uh, Canada, Australia, America, you know, that is what this business offers. Once you have a website, let me tell you, and um, you can also be able to share your, your website link with your customers and they can be able to log in into your website and be able to buy products for themselves. And let me tell you, this company is major. Uh, you know, the way they do their things is so, so different. And then um, 
I can tell you this in this company, you don't work alone. You have a you have a sponsor that will always be able to direct you. In case you have a question, there's always somebody that you can be able to ask. And of course, there's a lot of literature that you can you can use. And then simply put the logistical aspect of our business is well taken care of. Whatever it is that you need, let me tell you, you are good to go. And of course, uh, we are in a, in a business that we call uh, network marketing. That is where you network. I want to make you understand very, very seriously that networking, it is the greatest thing that ever, can ever happen to the business of anybody. You see right like now I'm in the comfort of my home, but you see what happens is that I'm connected. There are so many people who are locked in, uh, friends who are locked in from other countries. Because as long as you know the timings, you can be able to join our meetings and be able to run. And so because we are, we, are, we, we, we offer online services, like you see, like we are saying our business is home-based and especially for the mothers who have young children, they can't be able to leave their houses. You can actually be able to do the, the, the business from the comfort of your home. You can be able to order products. You can be able to register people that want to be registered to do the business. Uh, that means the company is going to give you a back office to be able to work from your business. You see, you have a back office that you can be able to work from. So that means you have a, a, a website that is so unique to you and nobody else. Of course, it's training that is given so that you can be able to know what to do. There are some people that have joined this business um, through their online services. And the, the, the only way that we interact is that they come for training. And of course, your products can be delivered by the company to the place that you've, you, you've uh, told them to deliver. And of course, you can, we have payments online like now, Anytime I buy products uh, or online, I pay via M-Pesa. And of course, there are no charges. As long as I'm doing my orders online, there are no charges. And let me tell you, that means it is the easiest transaction that you can ever be able to have. Of course, uh, the company pays us the bonuses. You just have to tell the company, do, do you want to be paid via M-Pesa? Do you want to be paid through the bank? But of course, if your check is very small, especially when you are starting the business, because a check is very small, but as the check becomes bigger, what happens is that you can tell the company to pay you through the bank. And so for some of us, you are paying through the bank and uh, that is, it is you has to request and the company can be able to do that. So when you come is that uh, you see like this young girl, she has gotten her own kit, this business kit that you're given and it is international. So in case you have a business here in, uh, in Kenya, you will find that you can also be able to get other people from other countries joining your business. And we, we then we meet or we will be meeting online. So she is so excited. She has just gotten started in the business, just like I got started those, those that is in year 2001 in July to be very specific. Like I'm telling you now, I'm, 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 I'm celebrating uh, 20 good years. Now, when now you, when now you join the company, how are you, how are you able to share this business with other people? There are four simple ways that you can be able to share our business with other people. It is very, very simple and it's something that you can be able to do. One-on-one -on -one or face-to-face, -face, that means anytime you meet somebody, you can be able to share this business. Sometimes we meet for weddings, sometimes we meet into other places and we can be able to link up with friends and we can be able to share business. Sometimes we meet over coffee with my friends and I'm able to share this business. And let me tell you, it's a wow. So this is one way you can be able to share business. Anytime you meet with the people, it's an opportunity. And of course, uh, you can also go digital. I'm sure uh, we are in the era of social media and of course, because of COVID, we are not able to, to intermingle so, so much. But let me tell you, through maybe other, other social platforms, we have Facebook, we have Instagram, we have YouTube, you know, so many WhatsApp, we can be able to do that and be able to meet other. You can even SMS somebody and you can be able to tell them, can I be able to meet you and we can be able to share this business with them. And let me tell you, going digital is the, the easiest way that you can ever be able, be able to do. Uh, the other thing is that you can connect with the people. You know, there's a, uh, the teleconferencing. You can also be able. There's also the, the way you can you can link yourself up uh, via maybe WhatsApp, and you can be able to interact with other people. And let me tell you, and you can also be able to share this business. Uh, you see, with the technology, all the, the the barriers have been broken. The barriers that used to be to be there that you had to travel to a certain place for you to be able to do business. And so what I'm saying is that. Uh, uh, that uh, that you, you can be able to connect with the people from various places and be able to do business. And of course, the other thing is going online. Like now I'm online via Zoom. I'm connected to so many other people. Some people log in from Ghana. And we just have to tell them the timings. 
Uh, like if you come on Monday morning, you'll find there's another session that is going on. That is for people in diaspora, like in the US, where our time zones are quite different. And so you can go online. And so like for the, the stay home moms, you can actually be able to do business from the comfort of your home. And let me tell you, you can be able to do business under your products, be able to talk to other people. And let me tell you, there, there's never been a better time to be in business like now. You see, when I came to this business, I was told, this business you can work on, right? It never became real until last year when COVID came calling. And uh, if you really want to be very successful, you just need to build a network. And you see, when you build a network, this is where the success is. And Pongete said that um, you just need to work 1% and the 99% will come from other people. And if you, you as an individual, if you are able to help other people be able to pay their bills, you are also going to pay your bill yourself. If you help other people buy their cars, you are also going to buy yours. If you help other people buy their houses, you are also going to buy yours. And this is very true for me. I remember that was either it is, um, that was in 2018 or 2019. Me and some of my girlfriends, somebody walked into our office, he was carrying a fryer. And of course he gave us that fryer and they were starting a project on building some apartments. Do you know what? We went and saw the apartments and we, me and my girlfriends, we went and bought those apartments. And so what I'm telling you is that when you build a network, what you're saying is that you're building success. Because once you are able to show other people how to buy their houses, like now I showed them how they can buy houses. I also bought mine in the process. So you can also buy yours in the process, whatever it is, if you want a car, if whatever it is that you want, you can also be able to do that. And of course, when you come to this business, you don't start this business to make money. You start this business to make a difference. Just like we have been making a difference in the lives of so many other people. And I can assure you, uh, I have made a positive difference in the lives of so many other people. I actually never regret having joined this business because through me, other people have been able to enjoy uh, their life. And of course, uh, some, let me, I, I said I'm going to tell you that um, these are some of the benefits that, are, that I've really gotten, like the travel. Uh, this was in 2019, just before COVID. This was October in 2019. We were in Rome, we had gone for a vacation. Actually, right, right now where you can see there's somebody with this tour guide there. Uh, she was taking us for a tour, uh, a tour of Rome. And let me tell you, it was so, so exciting. And you see this, when you are, this, this still was in Rome. And I remember there's a staircase. I can't remember if there's 20. Is it either got 200 and that stairs or something? I can't remember exactly. And you are not supposed to sit on those stairs. That's why you find everybody is standing and nobody is sitting. You just go there, you stand and take your photo. And you can see me there. We were feeling so nice. And let me tell you, it was fun. Uh, this was uh, we had the girls. I think this was the, the, the girls' conference. We had gone to take some some tea, and so one Saturday one Saturday morning we decided, hey, ladies, let's go out and have fun. And we went there and we had fun. And let me tell you, these girls have been empowered, and they are able to take care of their homes. And at least they have, they have got what we call the financial uh, freedom. And of course, I cannot forget the 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 the, the, the Mexico uh, city trip. Uh, I told you I met the Dr. Um, uh, Creton, this is where she is. Uh, we are at Itiate with her. We were talking with her, and this this was a sorry. This was a, a tour of Rome, and actually we really had fun. That is the beach that you can see from the other side, and other people that were were in, were in Mexico City. And actually, that was my second time to visit Mexico. The first time was in 2006 when we visited uh, Cancun, Mexico. And let me tell you, it has been fun. I always wonder if I'd made in the bank. Would I ever, ever gone to Mexico? Definitely no. I can assure you, no for no. Uh, this was uh, in June this year, we were in Dubai. And let me tell you, uh, the company had taken us there for a trip. It was fun. It was total, total, total fun. I always say, surely, if I never, ever joined this business, at Ningekosa I trip. Now, even to make sure that you don't miss the next trip, you need to join this business. And of course, this was in, was in Dubai. Uh, somebody went for some, uh, you know, this reading something, this one is something that I can't try, but some people are so bold. This is why we're in Dubai. Uh, she decided to go for this reading event. And let me tell you, it was total fun for her, but for me, it is, it is uh, breathtaking. Uh, so this one I can't try, but some people are so bold. And in case you want to go and do it, 
uh, kindly we can go in our next stream. This is me there with some of people in my team. That is uh, that is uh, Rev and uh, that is me and we have Naomi. Uh, we had fun. This is when we had a photo session. And let me tell you, it was fun. It is a nice feeling when you have shown other people how to do business and they also start traveling. You feel so, so, so nice. So I've empowered these people and I'm so, so excited. And th this is us there. This was Russia time. We were going out there shopping. And so we just had breakfast. We said, hey, let's go and have some photos. Uh, so before we go shopping, and let me tell you, it was fun. There they go again. Uh, there we go again. There they go again. And let me tell you, it was fun. This was the Kenyan team. Uh, you can see it there. They look so lovely. They look so beautiful from this side. Uh, that is Mugambi. That is dead. And let me tell you, this was on the pie. It is a nice, a nice feeling. And of course, this is us there. This is uh, this is uh, my team there. Uh, this is um, is um, he is Mwenda. He is Kenyan, but living in Uganda, doing his business in Uganda. Uh, this is Mugambi. There's me there. There's Naomi and Ved and Bundi. And let me tell you, it was total fun. Uh, have the feel of traveling. You know, it feels nice to travel. Packing your bag, going to the air to the airport, and you know. Uh, and when you go, you don't only go for yourself, you also go with other people. This was a team from Togo. And let me tell you, those people are so enthusiastic. You should have seen them in the trip. You see the way they have done their, their attires. They are so thrilling. And let me tell you, they are so exciting. They are people that you'd love to be near to because uh, they are just but exciting. And uh, yeah, that was a Togo team looking so beautiful from there. And uh, you see, this was still Dubai. Uh, these are lenders and people having their time and feeling nice about uh, what they were doing. Uh, this is us, many dinners. We've been able, been able to go for many dinners here in Kenya. You see the way this calendar is feeling nice. Oh, it's a nice feeling. There is Naomi. This is friend, our our director of um, director of uh, uh, of um, oh sorry, I'm forgetting. Uh, he's director of uh, of um, what goes on in the office. He's the one takes care of our office. And of course, we have Rico all the way in in, um, in the US. He comes to support us. This is me. This is Grandes. We, we were at the Intercon. And of course, this uh, the company was celebrating, uh, uh, you know, um, the many years that they have been here in Kenya. And these are people having their time. You can see me here taking a photo here, feeling nice. Well, it's a nice feeling. People are having fun. And let me tell you, it's good to be in the right place with the right people. Uh, this is where the, you know, this is this is places that we really visit. It's, it's, it's a nice, it's nice to visit places. You feel very, 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 very nice. And of course, like you can see there, we are still having that. This was in Zambia. I always remember this, this plane was chartered. Uh, we went to South Africa and this plane was chartered from South Africa up to Zambia. It was a nice feeling. I couldn't, when it was landing, we were feeling so nice. And then I said, wow, suppose I remained in the bank, I would not have had this total fun. And of course, this was again in Grand I had, uh, let me tell you, in Dubai, it was so amazing. This was in 2013, if I'm not very wrong. This is me there having fun with my, my friends here from Kenya. This is Dr. Fatuma, the one who was teaching us about COVID, other teams there from other places, and this is the view of Dubai. This is was Hong Kong. Let me tell you, this is where we used to go with the, uh, uh, those trains in, in Hong Kong. Let me tell you, the population is huge. Every other place you find is full of people. People, every place is full of people. The buildings are so tall that, 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 that you can see uh, this hotel here. And I remember I was staying in the 15th floor. And let me tell you, it was major. And then I said, wow, suppose I never joined this business. I would have missed this dream. And of course, uh, this is Sunny City. Uh, we were there and we are back again to Sunny City next month. I can't wait to go to Sunny City. This will be my fourth time to be in Sunny City. Uh, it is called the, the, the Paradise of the Lost City. Let me tell you that place is huge. Uh, there's, also a, a, there's also a game park around there. So once you go there, one of the days we just have a drive into the park and it is a nice feeling and you can have all the photos that you really want to have. Cape Town, I've been there, it is a nice place. I think I've visited Cape Town four times and let me tell you, we've been there to the Tepo Mountains where you have to use a cable car to be able to get to the top of mountains. And up there in the mountain, there's one ride. Let me tell you, it is total fun. There are also hotels up on the mountains and let me tell you, it is really fun. 
And when my Mauritius again in 2018, we're in Mexico, that was in 2018 in March and in, in um, and we went again in, uh, uh, that was in October in 2018, we were in Mexico and then March 2018, we were in Mauritius. And let me tell you, this is a beautiful destination. Those who are not married kindly, you can take to your wife uh, for a honeymoon there, she'll never forget um, because uh, Mauritius is breathtaking. I think you can see from the view. And then of course, this was Abu Dhabi. This was my first visit to Abu Dhabi. And then this hotel is so huge, it is very nice. And then I said, what a business that has given me an opportunity to tour the world. I can imagine how many times that plane has taken off and landing. You see, it is because one day I said yes to this business opportunity. This was in Rome, of course, and then oh, this was uh, Roscabos Island. These are some of my team members. This why in, in, uh, we were in, um, sorry, we were in uh, Abu Dhabi. I remember this was uh, the evening and then uh, we had dinner before the night before we left. And let me tell you, it was fun. And then, of course, this is this is a wonderful couple. Many people know them. And of course, he is a governor. Of course, they are part of our New Life family. And the, we also do business together with them. And the, actually, Dorothy is the one who taught us business when I came into the business. She used to do the presentation to us. And when I see where they are now, I can imagine what this business, what kind of vendors. Sometimes you come to this business, just maybe you want money. But do you know what happens? Uh, what happens is that you find other goodies. You get what you call personal development. And of course, this is Windsor. Once you, once you do the business, you become a director, you are taken to Windsor for training so that you can be able to get your leadership skills and be able to make sure that you are taking care of your team, your team with all the skills and the knowledge that the company is going to give you. Uh, these are the leadership schools that the company gives. Here people enjoy themselves, you, you play many things, you play golf, uh, you go frogging, you know, many things that you do at Winsa. I remember I was taken there when I was four months in the business, five months in the business, just when I became a director. Let me tell you people, it was total of fun. This is, uh, this is uh, Cape Town. And I remember this is, uh, this is uh, I remember this is where the Pacific meets the Indian Ocean, if I'm not very wrong. And I told God, I've always wanted to be there. And let me tell you, this is one of the trips that I'll never forget. I've always wondered, Cape Town, that is the, the that you know, the tip of the Cape, you know, you always used to hear, but that day I was there. And let me tell you, went to say the Vasco da Gama place. And you see, I always say that joining this business has made me be able to, these things that I used to read in history, they became, uh, uh, they became a reality, and yours can become a reality too. Of course, we were supposed to have the the, the to go for the conference in um, the convention in the Islam, but because of COVID, we can't be able to to go. But I know we are going to do it very. We are going to do it in October. If you are not able to travel, we are going to do it virtually, and we can be able to move on. Last year, we were supposed to go to uh, to to Zach Republic, but we still we couldn't go because of COVID, that's when things were really tough. But one of these fine days, uh, we are going to connect and we'll be able to go to uh, to, to Zach Republic. And you see what the wand is at your fingertips, you can be able to go there. Uh, this is girls empowerment, that is the day that we had a girls day out and uh, we had a total fun. And this is it. And of course, how do you get it started? Of course, it is not very difficult. Uh, you just need to fill a form like this one. Alternatively, you can join online, you have that opportunity, and of course, you get started, and you can be able to join. When you are in Kenya, you, you can be able to pay 8970 If you are in Nigeria, that is your amount. If you are in Tanzania, Uganda. Uh, if you are in the US, you can just need about $100. Uh, if you are in Sweden, you can be able to use maybe like about 64 euros. So what I'm saying is that uh, today with me, I'm going to invite one of the young people that have joined this business. Uh, and actually, this she was featured in a magazine, and uh, like you can see, she is very young. She is in Nairobi University right now. She is pursuing her degree, and you see, she is young. I didn't have this girl. She is so bold, and because uh, let me tell you, if you want nice things, you must be bold, and you see, sometimes you must take it by force. So, um, with me to tonight, uh, who is my co-presenter tonight? Uh, we are going to have Rehab talking to you this evening. And let me tell you, I love Rehab because she is just bold. And let me tell you, if she can be able to do it, 
why not you? She's just a university student. I'm sure she's been borrowing pocket money from her mom. But now she's making her own money. And you don't have to keep on bothering your parents. You as a parent encourage your child to start doing business. Because after university, akuna kazi. So I have so many other friends who, by the time they retired, their business was already doing very well. They didn't have to work. So I'm going to invite uh, Rehab. I'm so proud of her. Uh, she, I'm so proud of her of what she can be able to do because she is rocking the, the marketplace as young as she is. She is in her early 20s, actually very, very, very early 20s. And if she can be able to do it in this business, you can be able to do it. Rehab, over to you. Welcome. I'm so proud of you, Rehab. Anytime I see you, I'm so proud. Welcome. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Judy. Thank you so much. Uh, my name is Rahab to everyone. You've had, I'm Rahab Nyokabi Munene. I'm a student at the University of Nairobi. I am studying a Bachelor of Arts in Sociology and Korean. Mm -hmm. And I'm just about to finish my campus. Um, in next year, I will be graduating, God willing. So I'm very excited. Uh, for me, this business, I've known it since I was a child. It's been an opportunity that my mom has been doing ever since I was three years old. And I tell people this business works. Why? Because this business is what fed me. This business is what educated me. This business is what provided for our needs in the house. So no, out there when people say the business doesn't work, for me, I'm a living testimony because I have been um, educated, fed, um, schooled, um, what else? I'm housed by this business. So it's been a blessing in disguise. And apart from that, before, um, when I got to meet the opportunity in my own terms, I know my mom pushed me into doing the business, but I thank God because I had the vision myself. So for me, I didn't see myself doing this opportunity. As many young people would say, this is something that is not for everybody. And probably you're here, you have your own children who are also, you're also trying to push into the business. Don't, don't stop. Keep telling them about the business. Trust me, they will need this in the future. And I assure you, they won't regret it. If you, if you stop, they might not see it, but if you continue um, showing them what this opportunity can do, they will see this opportunity. For me, I saw it for myself. My mom pushed me, but you know what they say, you cannot force someone to change. The person has to change for themselves. And for me, that is what happened. I saw the opportunity for myself in 2017 on December. After a whole year, from January till December, my mom had been pushing me to attend meetings. And I did attend meetings. I did listen to the meetings. I even went for conferences. But for me, the opportunity just didn't sit right for me. I didn't see the need. I didn't see why I had to join. I knew because we've been raised with a mentality, go to school, study, get a job. So in my head, I knew I'll get a job. I'll be secured. So I don't need to stress myself about this. And I didn't have dreams, I didn't have goals, I didn't know much about myself, in, if I'm being honest with you. But when this opportunity was brought to me, I, I rejected it so much, you should have seen my stubbornness. But you see, I have also a very stubborn mother, <laughs> which I thank God for, you know, I got the character from her. Because in 2017, I was fresh out of high school because I finished my high school in 2016. And as a young person, we want to go out there and explore. But you know, exploring means money. I didn't have the money. So every time I wanted to explore, my mom would say, my mom, I would go to my mom to get the money. And my mom would always tell me, you need to get your own money. I can't keep giving you money. So I remember she cut off my allowances, but still that did not make a difference. Um, things happened during the year. I was just moving around, doing nothing much, borrowing money. We made a deal with my mom. The deal was come to town, attend the meetings, and then you can go and do your things. So it was, I will come to town during the day, go do my other things with my mom's money, then attend the meeting. But you see, I never used to pay attention. I didn't see the need. But I remember in 2017, in 2017 December, it was almost the second uh, last, it was the third last week. It was the second week of December. And one of the speakers was Fred um, Gishoki. He said something that many speakers always say, and I know you've heard it from Judy. The question was, do you have a dream? And honestly, 
whether you're young, whether you're old, we all dream. And some of us give up on our dreams, but some of us don't. And for me, I didn't have a dream. You know, I gave up on my dreams when I was in high school. Uh, my dream was to become an architect. And I knew maybe that won't work. So what? Maybe become rich. So how do I become rich? Well, I don't come from a rich family. It's not like my mom is spinning millions. <laughs> so it's not like she'd give me that money. And my mom is a hardcore. So I figured, you know, maybe do what other ladies are doing. Um, look for a rich husband. But I, my mom asked me this question. Where will you find that millionaire while you're seated at here with no money and you're just at home doing nothing? Where will you meet him? And she told me this. His money is not going to be your money completely. Yes, it's your money in marriage, but she won't have the freedom to do what she wants. Every time you want money, it will be questioned for what? So I remember in 2017, December, I made a decision. I sat down and I remember asking God, you know what, God, thank you for this. Finally, I've seen this opportunity. I didn't tell my mom I was joining. I just told her the meeting was awesome. I sat down, I restructured my dreams again. And in 2018, I made a decision to become a part of New Life. And that has been one of the best decisions I've made because New Life has made me into a greater person than I've ever been in my life. They have mentored me and I've gotten the money. The money is there, trust me guys, my mom does not fund me with things like clothes, hair, um, going out with friends. I fund myself in everything. If I want to do anything for myself in the house, if you want to probably buy yourself uh, a TV, my mom will not fund me because she has taught me to be independent. And I love New Life because the money is there in profits and in salary. And that's very exciting. And I know my mom told me this. Remember this. Even when you get a job after campus, this money you get from your life will help build your future so you can be your own boss. And I thank God because your life has taught me to work so work hard for my dreams. I, I don't want to be employed. I Yes, I'll be employed for a few years, but I'd like to be my own boss. And where does the money to start your own company come from? For me, it comes from your life because I know your life is going to be there through thick and thin. I might get fired, might lose my job in the future, but I won't lose in your life. And one thing I like about it also is the health part. The health is amazing. For me, I got out of campus when I was a little bit big and I felt very insecure about my physique. So I remember I would starve myself so that I can lose weight. And that didn't go well for me because I got sick and um, I almost got ulcers because of that. So I remember just attending the meetings really taught me on how to stay healthy. And I started working out, started monitoring my diet, and eventually I lost the weight and I, I am happy with how I'm looking, but I'm hoping to progress better and better. The products are amazing. I've been taking the product products since I was young. I have testimonies of how I did not get that sick in high school. I don't have, I know this is something that not many women say, but I do not experience PMS. And that's a big thing for me. Because when you look at the girls out there, it's more of like 90% of young girls out there experience PMS. But because of your life, I don't experience that pain that people get to experience. So I'm just here to tell you, your life will give you more than probably what you're hoping for. If you're looking for money, as you're making the money, you will get the health. As you're making the money also, you will get personal development. You'll be a great speaker. People will want you to talk in their meetings. And trust me, your life will push you to be better in your work area. Because we want you to be the best in everything you do. So your life pushes you to also be the best in your working area. Because once you learn how to build, accept your life and say, this is my business. I'm going to work on this. Even when you go to job, if you're employed, you will work on your job and might even get a promotion. And that's one thing I like about your life. And the testimonies are there. I'm always so encouraged by, by what my 
my mentors do they encourage me to stay in the business they encourage me to build also for the future of my kids for the sake of my dreams and i do dream of traveling also because that's one of the happy things that made me join your life so there's so much out there you cannot miss out and judy has already explained to you your life is an amazing company coming from my mouth and i i believe what i say because i've already told you i saw the opportunity for myself and it works guys this business works you don't have to quit your job do it part time you will not regret it you'd rather make take that leap of faith and decide to go through that hard road even if you've never talked to people about business take that leap of faith you shall not regret it you will thank your up the person who has invited you to this business i assure you you'll remember my words if you just take that leap of faith talk to them and tell them you know what i think i'll do this opportunity do it part time and focus on it as if it's your own business and you will see great results so i don't have much to say just to welcome you on board if you're new here we will get to meet um face to face in the future and judy has done a great job thank you so much judy for that um presentation so yes karibu sana judy thank you so much rehab uh, she is so young so vibrant i feel so impressed and let me tell you it's amazing yeah and you see she is just young she is just bold and you know what she has to get it by force you see you don't have to wait for other people to give you things you can always get them for yourself and in close what i can be able to say is that um, that in your life is here to support each and every one of us so that we can be able to move on there are so many things that you get in your life uh, there are so many that travel you see, see we have told you the travel you see i always ask myself when i came to this business i paid 9200 kenya shillings suppose i said no where would I be today? And you know, between a no, a no and a yes, the line is very thin. You see, I would have said no. Sometimes I, I you know, I get some, some goose pimples, you know, I feel cold when I think about it. I don't know how my life will be today. But because I said yes, all these things that the, the new life is offering, I'm able to enjoy them. The travel, driving the car that I love driving, living in my house and doing so many other things, helping my friends be able to catch up in the life. And let me tell you, if you want to get this patent, that is a pay bill, that is the amount that you got to pay. You'll get an international license that will help you be able to do the business worldwide. And of course, uh, what will happen is that uh, you'll also get a, 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 a business kit, you see, with the tools for your business. And from there now, you and your sponsor, you are going to link up and you can be able, they will sit you down and they'll be able to explain to you how you are supposed to move on from one level to another. And from me and the company and all of us and everybody who invited you and Rav, my co-presenter, we are very committed to make the world a healthier and a happier place for each and every one of us. Let's meet in the beaches of the world. Talk to the person that invited you and they are going to guide you on how to get started. Good night and God bless you. And remember, next Saturday, we have our, our family day event. That is on the 11th of September. And let's meet in the beaches of the world. Good night and God bless. Michelle. Hey. That's a new brother.